Guys, we are here at Universal Studios Hollywood, and today we're going to be walking around. We're going to be showing you what is new here. And as you guys can see, we're wearing our appropriate sunglasses because technically we are in Hollywood. So we want to protect our eyes from the bright, shining stars no, we might see. I know. They're, so, they're shining so bright that it blinds our eyes. Right? Now, I don't really think we're going to see any stars. I don't think I've ever seen any movie stars here at Universal Studios I Hollywood. I don't think I have I don't either. Think, yeah. But, now looking back, I'm like, Wow, and we do have a working actual studio tour. Yeah, That's and the true. studio tour is gonna be celebrating 60 years soon, and we can't wait to bring you into that celebration. It's gonna be so much fun. We're excited to see what Universal has in store, but right now we're gonna be looking around and seeing what we can find that is new. We're excited for this. Now it is a little busy here today bit, at Universal yeah. Studios Hollywood. <laughs> it's springtime, so you know a lot of people are coming for spring break. Yeah, it's a little lively today, but I kind of like the vibe. I like it. Right? Yeah. It's like, it feels like people are finally coming out because it has been raining here in California. And now that the sun's coming up and it's bright, it's beautiful weather, I feel like everyone's feeling that love, lively yeah. energy. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> So we're gonna head into Hogsmeade right now because Universal Studios is celebrating their butterbeer season. Yeah, you know, all the way to April 30th, they're gonna find specialty foods just for butterbeer. Oh season. my goodness. So there's you gonna know. be a lot of treats that we need to check out. I know. <laughs> First of all, I wanna go inside Honeydukes because apparently they have a new ice cream shop in there. Ooh. They used to sell like, I think they still sell like treats and candy and all that. But they added like a special like ice cream parlor and they sell butterbeer ice cream. They have all these different flavors. I know. So come on, let's go. Because the more I'm yapping, the more I'm getting hungry. So come on. Before we decided to go into Honeydukes, we just had to get a feel of the land. We are talking about Hogsmeade here. After hanging out in Harry Potter world, we finally got the urge to get ourselves that butterbeer ice cream. Janelle said, no more waiting. Let's go into Honeydukes and get ourselves these tasty treats. Now, even though there's a bit of a line, they're moving it pretty quick. They did open two more registers, so that's really cool. If you guys haven't been to Honeydukes, you definitely have to check it out. Now, this is a really cool store inside of Universal Studios. It's a little candy shop, a very whimsical one at that. Inside, you're going to find some very interesting candy. You're going to find acid pops. You're going to find edible dark marks. They also have Birdie Bots Every Flavor Beans. You can find them there. It's really cool. And they also sell pastries. Guys, this place is awesome. And I like looking around because they have little fun Easter eggs. It's just great. It's something you guys need to do when you're here at the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. All right, we're next in line. Are you excited? Yes. I like how this is like, I, I like it. I really like they it. They definitely opened it up because I remember yeah. before they used to have a bunch of stuff here. Now it's a lot we're more next. open. Here we go, we're next. Oh, look at the souvenir glass. Oh, get on that. Yeah. That, that is so cool. This is the butterbeer ice cream in a souvenir cup. There's the fudge. You see, now we got our ice cream, but it's starting to melt quickly because it is a warm day today. And it's also a bummer because as soon as we started recording this, we found out that our microphone was having an issue. Oh no, bad luck. And our audio actually sounded like this. Unfortunately, the microphone didn't work, but it's okay. We're gonna try to do this a little bit different. Now, of course, the first ice cream we're gonna try is gonna be the butterbeer ice cream. Of course, it's the season of the butterbeer, and we decided to get it in the souvenir cup. We just couldn't pass it up. Janelle took her first bite, and she said it tasted a lot like vanilla soft serve and had the tiniest hint of butterscotch, and it could have benefited from some very tasty toppings. But of course, being in the wizarding world of Harry Potter, we couldn't just get one. We decided to get a second one, and this one is pretty interesting. Now, this one here is the apple toffee ice cream. I feel like this one here was a little bit better than the butterbeer. It does also taste like vanilla. It had a little bit of a better taste because I did like the apple. I love the nice little toffee taste it had. It was very subtle, but it was there. But I really feel like this ice cream can benefit by having some toppings on it. You never know. Maybe in the future, Universal will change things up. There's the apple right there. Oh no, it's melting all over the place. You're going to get messy, that's for sure. I know. <laughs> why. So we got ourselves some butter beer fudge mm -hmm. that they have right now for this celebration. And we've never tried fudge before. I don't think I've ever had tried like Not fudge here. here at least. Yeah. Over at Disney, yes. But here, I don't think I've ever tried you it. You haven't, uh-uh. So, and now we got it. Look yeah. at that. Wow. I'm excited for this. That looks like soap. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but, kind of. Right? I think yeah. all fudge looks like that though. Here we go. Mmm. 
How do you just like just butterscotch? Pure butterscotch. But I think that's just butter beer. Just like tastes like butterscotch. Mmm. Yeah. It's like soft and creamy. Wow. Mmm. Which one's the one that we had at Disneyland? Was it you know the horchata fudge? I don't remember. I think it was. And I think I kind of liked it. This one tastes more like a butterscotch, but it kind of has a little hint of white chocolate. Ooh. Yeah, it's nice. It's got a now, double whammy. I'm not a big fan of like fudge just because it's like one bite or two bites and then third bite is like a lot for me. But this is kind of good. This is really good because it has like not an overwhelming taste of butterscotch, but a, more of like a white chocolate with a hint of butterscotch. So I got myself these really cool prescription sunglasses and for me it's kind of hard to wear them because I don't have uh, contacts so I have to wear prescription sunglasses and I'm so dumb because I thought I brought my glasses and apparently I forgot. <laughs> They're not in here. So uh, yeah, I'm walking around wearing shades and I'm probably gonna be wearing shades all day. This sucks. Yeah, so if you see me wearing sunglasses pretty much all day and even night, don't think that I want to wear them. <laughs> it's just I forgot my glasses, so. We didn't realize, we didn't realize because he bought this. Yeah. And we inside Honey Dukes and he was about to take off his sunglasses and he's like, I left them in the car. Oh no. When I took him off. Because he thought you put him in here. Yeah. And I even, I even told him, like, double check. He's like, yeah, I think, I put this in there. I think it's in there. I, I think know. it's in there. Uh, this and is why I tell you to double check. <laughs> see? And we could walk back to the car, but it's such a walk well, all the way to City Walk, and I'm, like, eh, I'm good. I'm like, I'll have Janelle guide me in the dark. <laughs> the merchandise store because we almost a hat because it's pretty windy it's pretty windy it's yeah. pretty windy but we stumbled across this shirt i Look. like how vintage it looks i think seriously i think we said this last time right well, i kind of want it this time because <laughs> the 60th anniversary is coming up and i want to wear something festive something universal and i think this it's is screaming universal. my name it's Definitely screaming is. your name it's yelling your name it's doing everything <laughs> <laughs> look at this little bag here this is something Janelle would probably like. I do. I was thinking, I was actually looking at it right when I entered. I was like, I like yeah, this cause strap. Yeah, because it's very similar to your bag. Yeah. But now you got a universal one. This is cute. We'll keep looking around though. And this mug is so cool. You got ET right here. You got Jaws, Frankenstein, Earthquake. And that ride has been renovated, so we're gonna see a whole new earthquake when they reopen the 60th anniversary. That's very exciting. I really like that mug. Look, you know, John Hammond's been stuffed. He's been plushified. <laughs> I like his little cane, how cute. His little watch. <laughs> Spare it, no expense. Look at this. Little John Hammond. <laughs> so cute. Plushy. It's a shirt that changes color in the sun. What? I know. They got all this cool stuff here. I know. I wish this was green though, because wearing black in the summer heat or in the heat. Oof. This is more of a springtime shirt. Yeah. Or maybe in the winter. The wintertime shirt, yeah. Okay, for a shirt, I think I'm going with this. E.T. the Extraterrestrial. One of my favorite movies of all time. Directed by Steven Spielberg and music by music. John Williams. That music, you guys. Mm -hmm. oh, brilliant. And they have a lot of hats to choose from, but I think this one works well for me it's just very basic i like the universal logo and uh this one also is pretty cool but i think i'm just gonna go with this one and janelle just grabbed this one here how did i not see this i feel like this is something mr S like steven spielberg would wear it looks so retro it looks right? like yeah something he would wear like in the 80s or 70s we while should making get this jobs. one this is cute yeah i feel like he would have wore this while making close encounters of the third kind oh yeah who knows well not really because close encounters is not a universal film no. <gasps> yeah. Oops. So I was planning to get that one, but it doesn't fit my head. So. It's because this one, we just found out it's youth. Oh, it says youth why. on there. And I got a pretty big head. But so. why do they make these for adults too? We want to wear these hats too. I know. Will they fit me? I oh, know. I'm pretty sure they'll fit you. <laughs> I know. I'd like to fit you. Miguel got good. his hat. Doesn't he look like a director? <laughs> We're, we're making a movie. We're making a movie. Get out of my way, we're making a movie. Uh-huh. Okay, what watch is that? Who is that? What watch is that? Who's on that watch? 
Yeah, we gotta get a picture, girl. What's the matter? I love that you can meet Donkey here at Universal <laughs> Studios. I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> so cool. It'd be great if Shrek was with them too. And since we're also celebrating Butterbeer season, we can't forget the Butterbeer. Now, I personally prefer it frozen, but Janelle likes it hot. I like it hot in the cold season. Yeah? Right now, it's kind of hot. And they also have like just a regular like Butterbeer. It's like a little bit carbonated, but not really. It just tastes like butterscotch soda. It's really Ooh. nice. Now are you guys team hot butterbeer or frozen butterbeer? Let me know in the comments below. Yes. You guys, that was the butterbeer. We got it frozen. Now there was an option to get it either hot or just a regular butterbeer. But it's a nice hot day today, so we decided to get the frozen one. But look how pretty it looks. Yes. And we got ourselves in a nice souvenir cup. <laughs> Right? It looks yeah. cool. And it's cool because it's slushified and you get a little bit of that foam on top. Yeah, look at the little foam. Yes. Ah, and no. I mean, since we're having our Harry Potter day, we should also get the three broomsticks when we get a chance. Oh, we should. I'm kind of hungry. Me too. So let's, let's do that after. Okay. So cheers. There we go. And I do want to mention that the souvenir cup is extra. Yeah, but it looks cool. Cheers, it does. Here we go. Mm. You will have milk mustaches, <laughs> but that's fine. It's all part of like experience. It's part of the Harry Potter experience. There you go, yes. Oh, wow, it's just like, it tastes really good. Like a butterscotch heaven. It's so delicious. Wow. Mmm. I gotta mix it up a little bit. <laughs> it's nice and thick. Give it that little mix mix. I do have a straw, but this is cool. This is, this is how the cool kids treat it, you know? <laughs> That's good, refreshing, especially on this hot day. It's nice. If you're in Harry Potter world, you have to get a butterbeer. And uh, <laughs> it is a frozen, which is a good thing for me because I love the frozen variant. It's so good. I know a lot of people say like it's butterscotch and it does taste like it, but every time I try it, it just reminds me of flan. It gets Doesn't does. it taste like yeah. flan? Yeah. Say, it kind of does. That is delicious. And it tastes like flan, flan in a cup, or butterscotch, <laughs> either one, but it's really good. It does taste like flan. Now that I mentioned it, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, it, just, it does taste like butterscotch, but there was something in the back of my mind, I'm like, what does it taste like? And now that you said flan. It's flan. It tastes like flan. Wow. I love it. But now we're going into the three broomsticks because we're a little hungry and we're just having a Harry Potter day. It's a butterbeer season, so. The three broomsticks it is. Broomsticks. The three broomsticks. What's going on? Can't talk today. There's something in the butter beer. Welcome to three broomsticks. <laughs> oh, thank you so God. much, Gina. Thank yes. you. All right, we're in the three broomsticks. This place is so well themed. Look at this. It's awesome. They have a lot of great stuff here. Can you see? Here. Yeah, it's a little dark in here. It's, I can barely see I'm wearing my sunglasses. I look pretty silly wearing sunglasses indoor in the dark, but it's okay. I'm in the dark wearing sunglasses. <laughs> I wear my sunglasses. Oh, look, they have a uh, roasted chicken platter. Ooh. Down for that. Fish and chips, too. It's been a while since we've been in here, so I'm glad we're back. All right, guys, tray cam. You want to sit outside? Yeah, let's sit outside. All right. Follow the side. Oh, how about right over here? Look. Yes, perfect. All right, we decided on this table right here. <laughs> Guys, I love the chicken here. These roasted potatoes are amazing. The chicken is delicious. And I like the fact they give you some corn. It's definitely a filling meal. And Janelle decided to get herself some ribs. Remember a long time ago we came here? Remember we filmed that episode with the feast? Yeah. And they still have that too. So that's really get it one day. nice. We have to come back. We have to get it one day and bring some friends with us to try it, because that's a lot of food <laughs> yeah. that we had last time. Right now we're gonna have this. We're just we're having a Harry Potter kind of day, yeah, don't you think? Knowing myself with ribs. You're wearing all I wish white. <laughs> oh no. I wish they were longer though. They should give you like a bib. I know. Because knowing myself, like personally, I will spill. Especially with ribs. Oh, look, see? But it's going to be worth it because these are so right tasty. <laughs> Here we go. Look how juicy these look. Yes. Mmm. There we go. Now, usually when I'm here at Universal, I always go for the ribs. They're very tasty, very mm. juicy. Fall off the bone wood. Wow. Yeah, they're so tender. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> yes, look at that. Yeah, some of my favorite ribs here. Mm -hmm. Very sweet. I love the glaze. 
I'm gonna have some of my chicken. I just got a fork. It is like fall off the bone good, look. Wow. <laughs> and it's juicy and like the barbecue sauce has a little bit of a spice to it, which is really nice. Mmm. So good. Do you like them, Miguel? I gave him a little piece of my... Yeah, they're so good. Good, right? They got that Cajun-y like spice. It really does, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna eat my chicken now. Ooh, it's chicken. Mm -hmm. Can you see it? I can see it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good thing it's not dark because then I wouldn't be able to see the potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Look at that. Mm. Got some chicken there. I got mostly skin, but it's okay. Mm. That was a very good too. It's like very smoky. And you do get your potatoes here. You get some corn. I really like the meals that they have in, at the Three Broomsticks. I think this is like one of the best places to eat here at Universal Studios. Panda Express downstairs, I think it's probably a good value, but I don't know why there's a Panda Express at Universal. They really need to start like focusing on like some of their IPs because they have a lot of great ones. I know. They need like, to bring them here. Right? The Minions Cafe. The Minions Cafe. Oh, I love Minions Cafe. I and love that big a good piece of chicken right here. <laughs> I wish they would give you like some barbecue sauce where you can like put it on your chicken. Dip it on my thing if you like. I know, right? Dip it into your sauce. There you go. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> Let's enjoy nice. our come food. With some sauce. And now that we're all done with the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, we thought we'd go check out the Universal Studio Tour. Oh, by the way, we're heading over to the Studio Tram Tour. Such a nice, pretty day today. Look how pretty. We had to come down here since Universal Studios Hollywood is going to be reissuing the iconic Glamour Trams for their 60 year celebration of the studio tour. Really hoping that we get the Glamour Tram. It's the red one. It looks really cool. Very vintage, very retro. I hope we get it. No way. I think we're going to get the red Glamour Tram. It's right there. Oh no! <laughs> so we didn't get the Glamour Tram, but we just saw it pass by and it looks awesome. We didn't get the Glamour Tram, but we did get one of these trams that were converted from hydraulic engines to electric trams just recently. All right, heading into the tram. Doesn't matter because at the end of the day, it's the awesome studio tour. This is gonna be great. The tour guides are always the best on the studio tour. Once you start moving, you get excited because you have no idea what you're gonna see on this route. I always feel like there's something new to see every single time. Where they're gonna put Fast and the Furious, the attraction is gonna go in here. I'm excited for that, I can't wait. Now, if you've never been on this attraction, it's really cool because you're actually on a real working studio so you might encounter some filming from time to time King Kong and the T-Rex is fighting it out. Very scary, but we survived. Universal Studios is bringing back the Earthquake attraction just in time for its 60th anniversary. The attraction located within Stage 50 has been given a fresh new look. We can't wait to bring you guys back to this incredible attraction. It's one of my favorites. But after a long journey, we finally arrive at Amity Island, where we hung out with a famous yet aggressive shark swimming in the studio water. <laughs> Folks, I think what we're witnessing is a shark sneak attack. I did hear they... Bruce the shark is coming out. It's still, it always gets you. Yeah, so surprised. I really enjoyed seeing the red trams parked around the studio lot. They look so iconic with their bright red awnings and retro font on the side. It's a great way to welcome the upcoming celebration. Oh, and did I mention that they built a replica of the Hollywood sign? On April 26, Universal Studios will offer guests the opportunity to step off their tram and onto certain movie sets. We noticed that the War of the Worlds area was undergoing refurbishment. This is all just very exciting for movie enthusiasts and Universal fans. No? Wait, why is this kind of scary? It's kind of scary. Oh, there's a tram is 
definitely the best way to Universal Studios. Yes, if you're here at Universal Studios, you have to check out the tram because not only is it a working actual studio, it's like has a lot of history. Yeah, a lot of movie history, which is great. But just the experience alone makes you feel like, you know, you're a part of the movie experience, the filmmaking experience, and that's the best thing about this theme park. It inspires you. Yeah. We're gonna get a lot of great goodies for the 60th anniversary of the Studio Tram. They have this really cool popcorn bucket that they're announcing. It looks like the Glamour Tram. When it happens, I need to get that popcorn bucket. It looks so cool, but it hasn't come yet, but it will soon. Now I know Miguel said something about the popcorn bucket, but they're also gonna have specialty foods, especially here at Mel's Diner, which I'm really excited for. They have like milkshakes and like treats and donuts. I'm excited for that. Oh wow, I didn't I know, know about this. You didn't know about that? No. Oh, something I knew? I'm just kidding. Uh, I'm yeah, excited. that's why I'm sharing it with you guys because yeah, Mel's Diner and other various places are gonna have specialty foods just for the 60th. Oh, can't wait. I know, me too. And we told you guys last time that when we come back to the park, if they had the gold bands, we we're gonna show them to you. And look, there they are. These are the gold bands. These are celebrating one year of Super Nintendo World. See, celebrate one year. These are $52, but look pretty cool. And if you wanna celebrate Super Nintendo World's one year, well, there's the golden band. He goes, welcome to Dusters Cafe. Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we made it over to City Walk because we want to try out this new place called Sharky's. They have like this poke type bar and they also have boba teas. Sounds really good. They have like a honeydew milk tea. That sounds really delicious. That's the one you said now. you wanted to try. Yeah, I saw it. I was walking by and I'm like, honey milk do tea? I'm getting that. Now inside of Uncle Sharky's, they also have Dole Whips. Look, they have different flavored ones over here. And the boba tea that Janelle wants to try is the honey. What was it, honeydew? Yeah, honeydew milk tea. But did you see they also have Dole Saucer? Yeah. They have like a lime one, a pineapple one. I don't know what the pink one is, but I'm pretty sure it's like strawberry. And look at this honey milk dew tea. Wow, look right? at that. Look at the color. Hopefully you can still see it. I know it's a little dark. But it's almost like that nice little minty green color, which is really cute. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure in daytime for the pictures, it looks so cool. But here we are. This is my favorite part. Are you ready? Oh, first try. Mm hmm. It's nice. It literally tastes like a honeydew, like melon. Squeeze in there. 100%. 100%. Honeydew? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Let me try. I love honeydew. Oh, wow. Honeydew is like delicious. A lot of people don't like it, and I don't know why. What? So if you're one of those people that doesn't like melon or like a honeydew melon, let me know in the comments why. Because <laughs> it's good and it's sweet. Maybe that's why. Well, honeydew is like one of my favorites. I it's love so it. It's so tasty. I could eat that and cantaloupe all day. Cantaloupe, yeah. Mm. So good. Mm. So good. Try it. Yeah. Oh, and by the way, guys, if you want to know where it is, it's literally right next to the Taco Bell. There's a Taco Bell right here. Pink hot dogs. And uh, there it is. It's Uncle Sharky's. Pretty cool, huh? Got to lower it a little bit for you. There you go. That's actually pretty good. You like it? <laughs> yeah, that's it's good, good, right? Yeah. It does taste like honeydew. Sorry, guys, I had to take off my sunglasses because <laughs> I was trying to look a, I was starting to look a little weird walking around with sunglasses. My home, my uh, movie star or something. I know. You know my what Brad me Pitt. You remind me of um, Arnold Schwarzenegger in what's that movie? What's that movie with the with the metal guy? I can't think of it. Terminator. Terminator. <laughs> Two. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, today was a lot of fun. We got to hang out here at Universal Studios and it's kind of hard. I can't really see you guys. I know. <laughs> but uh, yeah, the honeydew, this was a great way to end the night. I know, it's nice and sweet. Yeah, and I can't wait for the glamour trams. That's gonna be so it's gonna be cool. It's gonna be so, so much fun, you guys. I'm excited for the new foods and just yeah. the excitement of celebrating the 60th anniversary yeah. of the glamour trams. Yeah. We can't wait for that, but we just mm. want to thank you guys for watching our videos. And if you haven't subscribed, what are you doing? It's time to subscribe. We just want to say thank you guys for watching, but we're going to see you guys here next time on, on Magic, Magic Journeys. Journeys. Bye. Bye. They had like some kind of pyrotechnics going off right now. It was uh, the castle uh, dark arts thing, I really? think. Yeah. That was cool. I missed it. <laughs> <laughs> it happened right after our outro, too. We just did our outro, and then yeah. it just went poop. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Look at that. It's part of the show. You think it's gonna happen again? I don't know. Oh, yeah, look. Whoa, there it is. <laughs> cool.